Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hofbergman Explained video. Today we're going to take a look at The Butcher. But before that, this video is brought to you by Optimus and Lawrence Anderson. Thank you for being farm barons. So The Butcher is a staple of the Hofbergman map. It's been around since as long as I've known Hofbergman to have been around, which is I only go back to FS17, but I believe Hofbergman actually goes back further than that. But at any rate, the Butcher is going to give you an opportunity to do something with most of your farm animals that you can't do on pretty much any other farm sim map. And that is take them to the Butcher. Make actual meat products out of your excess animals. So obviously base game, we have our animals, they reproduce. The only thing we can really do with them is sell them back to the animal dealer. Well, not so much with the Butcher. Let's go ahead and take a look at our production chains. The butcher is going to accept pigs, cows, poultry, sheep, and goats. So we can bring chickens, we can bring ducks, we can bring cows, we can bring bulls, we can bring heifers, we can bring calves if we want to satisfy the beef. We can bring por pigs, we can bring either, either the porkers, we can bring the traditional pigs, we can bring piglets if we wanted to. We can bring sheep, we can bring goats, we can get, bring baby sheep, we can bring baby goats. All of those are going to be satisfied with respect to the butcher. What are we going to get? We're going to get pork meat, we're going to get steaks, we're going to get chickens, and we're going to get sheep and goat meat. So let's take a look and see how this all works. Now the butcher is owned at the start. We don't have to buy the butcher. Okay, the Butcher is a facility that is going to be owned at the start. And where is it? Well, let's take a look and see where it is on the map. Taking a look at the mini-map, you're going to see it's just south of Field 15. As a frame of reference, the Animal Dealer is right down the road there, right around the corner. And as an additional frame of reference, the Vehicle Shop is right down the road, that direction, right around the corner. Okay? So we have here the retail shop of the butcher and then around back we actually have the butcher and something that is really cool with the Hoff Bergman productions and I may have really not shown this awful lot in some of the other productions but let's take a look see the the butcher shop is closed right now right well the reason the butcher shop is closed is because all of these are set to storing well what happens if we change it to selling Guess what? The butcher shop is now open for business with our meats and then a nice lady behind the counter. Well, what if we set our output mode to distributing? Once again, the butcher shop is closed because it's not open for business. So under storing and under distributing, the butcher shop is basically closed. But if you have it set to selling, all right, then the butcher shop is actually going to be open. Really, really cool, really, really cool concept. Now, what I have here is a load of cattle. So I have five cows loaded on in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to unload them at the butcher shop. Right here where we have our our Paul icon, the traditional icon is telling us it's a delivery point to buy sell area for our cows or for our animals. So we're going to back up to that. We're going to hit R and it's going to allow us to unload our cows to the butcher shop. And you'll see that the butcher shop is going to accept up to six cows. So we'll hit unload to the butcher shop. Just like that. And if we come back and talk to our butcher, you're going to see that we can interact with our butcher shop by just coming up and talking to this guy. Hit R. There you go. We have five of six beefs. Okay, and we can just activate our beef. There we go. And now once we have activated our beef, we do have some animations. And some, well, not so much animations. We do have some sounds going on. And what's going to happen is our trays of meat are going to spawn in right here. And our trays of meat are going to look kind of like
like this. Okay, that's where our chickens are going to look like that. Our lamb is going to look like that. Our sheep's going to look like that. And then our pork is going to look like this. Okay, so let's just fast forward a little bit of time. And we'll see our steaks come up. So here we have our first load of steaks. 250 liters per meat tray. Okay. And they will spawn across, and then they will spawn several high. So we're going to get a whole lot of, basically, meat trays out of here. That's what the beef is going to look like. We'll turn him off so that we don't have all that background sound going on. And then what I'm doing is I'm just getting my animals from the animal dealer. But of course, you know, this is a perfect way of getting rid of your excess animals. It only took about 30 minutes to get one tray of, of meat out of the butcher. So that's pretty cool, pretty quick production there. Now we have some pigs. Let's go ahead and see how many they accept. So 10 pigs, and I did pick porkers, so they'll go ahead and unload those at the butcher shop. And once again, let's go ahead and interact with sub butcher, and we'll activate our pig production. Once again, we'll fast forward a clock a little bit. About 30 minutes worth of time in order to get our first tray. Oh, oh that was a, that was a shocker there. I didn't even know about that option, but there's our there's our pork. All right, so there you can see what our pork looks like. What did I do over here? Well, I hit R and I removed the pallets. And then I hit R and I added pallets back. And, um, well, it, it kicked my, uh, it kicked my meat tray up. It's got me thinking. I didn't think those pallets were, uh, I thought they were decoration, but I wonder. I wonder if I can move them. No, no, they're just, they're just there. They're not, they're not. They're not movable. This forklift is a drivable forklift, obviously. And it is down here at the butchery. So you'll be able to make use of the forklift. Let's just turn this guy off. And now we're gonna go run back and get some more chickens. Basically wanna show you what all of the trays of meat are gonna look like. With respect to chickens, we're going to be able to put 20 chickens in the butcher shop at any one point in time. I went ahead and just grabbed 10. And I know folks are going to ask, they're going to ask, well, how many trays of X meat do you get for X animal? And I honestly don't know. All I know is we've made a tray of steaks. We're still at five beef. We made a tray of pig and we're still at 10 pig. Let's go ahead and activate our chickens. Now, chickens take a little bit longer to come out. And here we go, we got our tray of chickens. Put those up here. And you can see we now have eight chickens as opposed to the 10 chickens that we put in. And we'll go grab some goats and or sheep. And then that will pretty much conclude our tour of the butcher shop. Now I went ahead and got goats just instead of getting sheep, just to show that we can use the custom animals that are part of the Hoff Bergman map here at the butchery.
And we took 10 goats, and that was the max that it would take. Activate our production. Once again, uh, speed up the time. We can, if we wanted to, have all of the production items running at the same point in time. But since they do kind of produce at different rates, right? You're going to have different amounts showing up at any point. So there's our lamb and goats, or sheep and goats. That's what those meat trays are going to look like. Now, once we have all of our meat trays, well, what are we going to do with those, right? Where can we sell them? What can we do? So if we take a look at our prices screen, we're going to come down here to our pork meat. We can sell that at the beer parlor or the village shop. Our beef, again, at the beer parlor or a village shop. Poultry, same thing, as well as our goat meat. So we're going to be able to sell these either at the pub or the village shop. Let's take a look and see where those are. If you aren't familiar with where those are located, the village shop is located right here. It is literally across the street from the vehicle shop. And we can sell inside here. Or we can bring it around to the back and sell it back here where this guy is. Okay. Or we can go all the way over here to the pub. What I call the pub. And we can sell here. We come around to the back. And the pub is where we hang out a bunch of cats just kind of hanging out. So, guys, that is the butcher. Basically, what you're going to do in order to start producing your meats. And then how long it's going to take to produce each particular meat. And then, ultimately, what you're going to do as far as selling those meats for a decent profit. All of these, again, are 250 liter trays. 250 liters of poultry meat. 250 liters of pork meat, 250 liters of beef, and 250 liters of sheep and goat meat. If we take a look at our production screen once again. We got 10 sheep and goats still. We put one tray out. We had 10 chickens, and we're now down to eight. We had five cows. We still have five cows, and we have 10 pigs, and we started out with 10 pigs. So other than chickens, I think you're going to get a fair number of trays of meat per each animal that you deliver down here to the butcher and until next time happy farming